When I first met this woman, I saw Rose and I latched on to her. I told her, baby, I don't want to marry. I just want to be your man. <laughs> Rose told me. I told him if he wasn't a mankind and move out the way so the mankind could find me. That's what she told me. <laughs> you're in my way, you're blocking the view, move out the way so I can find me a husband. <laughs> Where, Corey? I want him to help me with this fence. He got recruited by a college football team. It ain't going to get him nowhere. If he be like you in the sports, he going to be all right. Ain't but two men ever played baseball good as you. And what did it ever get me? I ain't got a pot to piss in or a window to throw it out of. Hey, Pop, can I ask you a question? How come you ain't never liked me? What law is there say I got to like you? A man is supposed to take care of his family. You live in my house, fill your belly with my food, put you behind on my bed because you're my son. First off, congratulations on the film. You did such a great job. Thank you, I appreciate it. Yeah, um, this was one of those movies, like after I left, I kept thinking about just how much someone's career, like if you don't follow your dream career, it can really affect the happiness in your personal life. Absolutely. Because like even though Troy's like baseball dream didn't work out, I still kind of felt like, you know, he had a great family to look forward to. But in your opinion, how much does someone's career affect their personal life? It really depends on, on that person and their, and their personality and the things that they feel passion for. I know there are some people who, who love family, of course, and love the idea of family and, you know, and each of the individuals in their family. But some people are so career-oriented that if you can't achieve your dreams, you know, it's like life is wasted. You know? And of course, we know that that's furthest from the truth, but it's just really how, how you look at it. And you know, it's all about perspective. So. Unfortunately, Troy was one of those guys that I think he very much loved his family. But he just couldn't let that one nugget of his life go, you know, because he really felt he could have been a big, you know, big star. Now, don't you go through life worrying about whether somebody like you or not. You best be making sure they're doing right by you. Corey just trying to fill out your shoes. I don't want him to be like me. I want him to get as far away from my life as he possibly can get. You the only decent thing ever happened to me, Rose. You can't be nobody but who you are, Troy. That's all you got to measure yourself against the world out there. In the film, I mean, we're we're kind of limited to the, the setting that is shown. You know, it's a lot of times we're seeing these characters at the house or the backyard. Mm -hmm. And just, if the movie had decided to shoot, like, one another scene with Corey doing something outside of the house, what setting would you have liked to have seen Corey in? Actually, there was one, uh, at one at one time, we were going to actually show Corey playing football. I wanted it's to gonna be at a football game at, at his high school, but uh, just timing of it, and you know, it just didn't feel right with the essence. It, it kind of like was straying away from from what, what story uh, they wanted to tell. But to be more specific, you would probably have to ask Denzel why we didn't include it. But at one point, we were gonna do it, and I definitely wanted to. Yeah. It would have been fun. What you ever give me? Your feet, them bones, that pumping heart. You never done nothing but hold me back, afraid I was gonna be better than you. Everything that boy do, he do for you. It's not easy for me to admit that I've been standing in the same place for 18 years. Well, I've been standing with you. I got a life too. Don't you think I had dreams and hopes? What about my life? What about me? I noticed that Troy referenced baseball a mm -hmm. lot in the movie, just like as far as metaphors and just in his daily life, and it shows how much he was passionate about the sport. Mm -hmm. uh, I, it was interesting to me because I kind of do the same thing, but instead of baseball, I, I refer to movie scenes right. a lot. Um, is there something that you're really passionate about and you reference it like kind of in your daily life or use it even for metaphors? Oh, yeah, you know, I, I actually can relate. I always quote movies. And a lot of my friends usually get really annoyed with it. One of, uh, I actually recently just met <laughs> Denzel's son, John David, and he's he's like that as well. So we really hit it off just because we're always quoting like uh, lines from Anchorman. And I'm a big Will Ferrell fan, so you know I'm always like, milk is a bad choice. That's one of the <laughs> things that he said a lot. Always cracks me up. So, and I'm very passionate. I love the movies. I get that from my father. Yeah. You know, he was always a big movie buff, and he had me always watching these different characters. You know, from all these great actors. So. So I love to do, so that's where that came from. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So is Anchorman your go-to movie quote? Yeah, that or Talladega Nights, I'm, you know, shout out to Will Ferrell, you know. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good choice, I, Anchorman's yeah. a good one for sure. A lot of one-liners. What are you gonna do? Some people build fences to keep people out, and other people build fences to keep people in.